Hello and welcome back to Portal Mechanics. Today I'm going to show you how I built my Springtrap costume. So I built this costume before I discovered EVA foam. So I built the entire thing out of just cardboard and that squishy foam. I always forget the name of it, but uh, I'll look it up one day. When building my costumes out of cardboard, I'll make a structural frame and then kind of wrap that around in cardboard so then I get the basic shape and I'll add on to that to make it more round and shapey, kind of like how Springtrap is. You notice that I'll use Spring Bonnie as a reference, and that's because I was originally going to do Spring Bonnie, but I had a backup plan just in case Spring Bonnie didn't end up looking how I wanted him to. I'll just go to Spring Trap because if he looks wrong, that's good. He's supposed to look wrong because Spring Trap's like all messed up and crooked and everything. And that's why I turned the Spring Bonnie into Spring Trap is because it just wasn't looking right. It was too crooked, a little too uneven. I didn't like it, so I converted it to Spring Trap. You're going to see in some certain parts like the shoulders and the feet get like completely thrown out because they would have been good for Spring Bonnie, but they're not good for Spring Trap. So I had to throw them out and kind of redo them. After I got done making everything out of cardboard, I then started to put the foam on and even some of the fabric. I got a little bit ahead of myself. That's another reason why it didn't turn out good because the fabric didn't like stretch over very well and it left too many wrinkles. This is where I did some test fits. I looked pretty funny in them, but I needed to do them just to make sure everything looked good. The eyelids are just two pieces of cardboard covered in fabric, and then I just slapped them onto the eyes. And this right here is a test walk. It was kind of hard to walk in them, and there you can see the new shoes. To get like the holes and gashes Springtrap has all over him, what I did is once I got the fabric laid onto it, I got a lighter and lit the foam on fire. Now I do not recommend trying this at home or at any time, but if you do, it was not my idea. What I did is I just kind of lit on fire and kind of let it spread a little. And then I spray painted the inside of it brown to give that nice like kind of icky worn effect. And it was really cool because even if you touched it, it would feel sticky. I'm not gonna explain how I did every last bit of it. If you want more information on building FNAF costumes, I recommend you go check out my Freddy video. <laughs> this is when I made a little kid cry. As you can see, it drew a pretty big crowd. And this is actually what encouraged me to build the Freddy costume. Anyway, I'll see you next time on Proto Mechanics. See ya.